Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for being here again today. I hope all is well. Sana lahat kayo ay nasa maayos na kalagayan. My name is Lex and this is Tech Talk PH. We are back again with another video and today it's attack lang naman natin yung camera and speaker performance ng Samsung Galaxy A01. Ready na ba kayo? I uh, would just like to thank everyone no? kasi we are about to reach 100 subscribers. Thank you so much guys and pupunta na tayo sa raffle draw. As promised, mamibigay tayo ng cash. Thank you so much guys. It is such an honor na panoorin ng mga subscribers natin at pagkatiwalaan sa sobrang laki ng tech world at sa sobrang daming malalaking pangalan dito. I am very overwhelmed, moved and touched na kahit pa paano merong nagtitiwala sa atin. Before we start, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng refresher kung ano ba yung camera specs ng phone na to para naman maging malinaw sa atin kung bakit naging ganito yung result ng ating review. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a quick rundown sa camera app na itong Samsung Galaxy A01. Of course, starting up the camera and uh, ito, normal sel selfie mode itong camera and then click on live focus you'll be able to replicate the portrait mode please do keep in mind the since isa lang yung camera niya sa harap of course itong live focus mode is software based so do not expect a perfect portrait mode or portrait shots and portrait quality yung pag separate ng background sa subject is hindi magiging ganun ka perfect i hope that is clear and lastly before we move on to the video pwede mong i-adjust yung amount ng blur from zero to seven video mode so dito sa video mode i've already explained that this five megapixel camera is incapable of recording videos up to 1080p at 30 frames per second max that is the best quality that you can shoot using this camera right here this is the aspect ratio you can click this to change it no pwede gawin mo full one by one for Instagram. Then your normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So videos, etong icon na to, once you click on that, it will give you some filters that you can use on your video. Pero pag nasa photo mode ka, there you go. Once you click this icon, it will give you filters and then the beauty mode. So dito sa beauty mode, Meron kang tatlong features na po pwede mong i-adjust. This is for smoothening. This is for face limbing. And then this one is for making your eyes bigger. And then this last button right here is for you to turn it on and off. Kasi once na naka-enable yan, ayan, naka-yellow siya. So if you'd like to turn it off, hindi mo itatap yun. Dito mo itatap sa loob if you'd like to turn it off. There. As you can see, nawala na yung yellow. What else do we have here? Stickers. So here, as you can see here, it is incapable of adding live stickers even before you take the photo. So you have different options right here below the, the camera interface. So, ito, meron siya. Actually, it's quite a lot, ano? Here's the date. Yeah, meron hello. Meron help, holiday, ice cream, and then many more. I really don't find it useful because these are basic stickers so I can just take a photo edit my pictures on an application that I can actually get better stickers from I can edit it after the fact but then again it's a good to know information that there is so next so here are the back cameras sitting right here is the 13 megapixel camera so this is the main one and then this is the assistant camera of 2 megapixels for portrait shots or this is the depth sensor and the LED flash. Kung makikita ninyo, we have 5 shooting modes. So for the first one is panorama. So alam nyo na, may idea na kayo kung ano yan. Next is the pro mode. So ang pwede mong kontrolin dito sa pro mode is yung ISO, white balance, and then yung exposure. Those are the three things that you can control using the pro mode. For salikod, meron ding live focus. And this is the true portrait shot, okay? Since dalawa yung cam neto, yung isa depth sensor, of course, we can expect a better portrait shot using the back cameras as compared to the front camera. Ito, pwede mo rin siyang baguhin yung blur amount. Pwede mo rin paglaroan yung blur amount ng mode na to. No, and as you can see here, effect ready. That's what you get kapag uh, naka-in focus na yung subject mo. Here's the normal photo mode. And then lastly, the video mode. I actually tried to relaunch the camera and as you can see, <laughs> nagkaroon siya ng glitch. I don't know what, what causes this, but ito yung nakakainis. There are some glitches, small glitches na nangyayari sa phone na to. 
na hindi nakakatuwa. Pero, ganun pa rin siya, nagpa-function pa rin siya, yun nga lang, natatakpan niya yung shooting mode, or natatakpan niya yung shutter. Yun lang, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo. Dito sa video mode, wala masyadong interesting dito. Pakita ko lang sa inyo yung settings that you can open using the camera app. So, nandito yung HDR mode, rear video size, 1080p 30 frames per second. So, pwede mo rin i-turn on yung assistive grid lines. Kung ikaw ay medyo maalam, pagdating sa photography, alam mo kung para saan yun. And then, Pictures preview na dyan, location tags, ng shooting methods, medyo maganda to, yung volume key, po pwede mong gamitin na shutter button, and then meron din siya mga gestures. Quick lunch by double pressing the power button, you can quickly launch the camera, and this is one helpful feature, kasi you can turn off the shutter sound, so that's pretty much it. There's actually one thing that I'd like to brought up right now. Kasi hindi ko siya yata nabanggit last time. So I'd like to clarify to everyone. Itong phone na to, yes, wala siyang fingerprint scanner. The only way that you can unlock this phone is through pattern, the normal password, the normal pin, and of course, meron din siyang face unlock. Those are the things that you can use to secure your phone. So nga pala, this phone is for sale. If you are interested to get this phone at a discounted price, go ahead and PM me directly. So tama na kwento and let's go ahead and dig in to the camera review. Roll it! Ipapakita ko sa inyo dito yung importance nung paggamit ng focus no, sa camera. Here are some daytime shots. Dito finocus ko sa halaman. And then, of course, pinocus ko sa langit. Dito naman sa pangalawang set, pinocus ko muna sa ilaw. And then, pinocus ko sa edge ng building. Kita nyo yung difference ng picture? Daytime shots looks decent with lots of details. This is the portrait shot and as you zoom it in, may kita may imperfections ng camera and it is not as detailed as I want it to. I took this picture habang umaanda rin tricycle. Outdoor selfies on this camera is pretty usable. However, you can definitely see the white balance, exposure, and dynamic range are struggling. Hindi lang sa daytime photos, but it's a low light pictures. Pag ginamit mo yung manual focus smartly, it will make a big difference. Since hindi ito gumagamit ng kahit na nung special focusing system, hindi ko masyadong ma-appreciate yung mga low light outputs ng camera neto. It looks muddy and blurry. Here are the sample outputs of the camera with the sticker mode on. One thing na may advice ko sa mga mahilig pa rin mag-selfie kahit madilim na, try turning on the live focus mode because it brings more sharpness and details to the photos and it looks more decent. Low light indoor selfies are just fine, pero hindi ko lang nagustuhan dito kasi mukha, nagmukha akong matanda. Yung performance naman ng main camera indoors in low light, medyo okay siya pag may flash pero sabog kapag wala. So guys, here's the back camera video quality of the Samsung Galaxy A01. Ah, katatapos lang ng rapid test ko and papunta ako ngayon sa free shuttle. I really don't know where to go, pero try na lang natin magtanong. Let me know kung papaano yung microphone performance ng phone na to. No? Kung malinaw ba, kung ano ba, kung ano bang masasabi niyo. So here's the front-facing camera test of the Samsung Galaxy A1. Let me know guys kung ano yung performance or kung ano yung tunog na maririnig ninyo through microphone kung okay ba sa or video per lang dito ako ngayon sa Astro Park sa Pampanga now this is this, the main camera of this device the 13 megapixel camera video test of the Samsung Galaxy A01 we're filming it in low light. Please let me know about your thoughts and opinions and of course let me know about the sound. So this is the low light front facing camera test of the Samsung Galaxy A01. Let me know how it looks guys and tell me how this the sound 
of this phone. Ayan, so ipaparin ko naman sa inyo yung speaker quality nitong Samsung Galaxy A01. Ready na ba kayo? Here it goes. <laughs> Sorry na, I miss kasi mag-bar eh. No? Three months na tayo ng hopa lang. What I can say about the speakers of this phone, uh, it actually gets pretty loud. So hindi siya ganun kahina. It is very comparable to the speakers of Realme 6i. But when it comes to the overall quality, actually, as far as I'm concerned, is as far as what I've heard, the speakers of Samsung Galaxy A01 is a hairline better than that of the Realme 6i. I compared it to the Realme 6i because the sound quality of both phones are actually quite identical. Hindi nagkahalayo, sobrang lapit. Onting onti lang talaga yung difference. It's just a normal low app or below the average speaker na matatagpuan natin sa mga murang phones. So, andito na tayo ngayon sa verdict and of course, sasabihin ko na sa inyo yung mga opinions ko about the camera performance, camera quality of this phone. To start with, your front camera niya kapag kagabi, para siyang webcam. Overall picture, para siyang yung naabutan niyo pa yung Sony Ericsson 3G before na ano, na phone. Parang ganito siya, upgraded version. Pero of course, mas maganda naman yung camera nito. Pero nga, pagdating sa quality, mas maganda yung saturation nito, well balanced, yung picture quality nito, yung sharpness and clarity is mas maganda dito. Nonetheless, it does the job, pero when it comes to the quality, I think it can do better. Tingin ko lang talaga nagtitipid si Samsung. Masyado niyang tinipid yung cameras nito. Magkano na nga kasi yung Y6P? Um, mas mahal lang yun ang 500. Kahit na plastic yung likod nun, mukha siyang glass. Ito talagang plastic na plastic. And then yun, merong fingerprint. And then, meron yung ultra-wide angle na camera. Mas malaki pa yung screen nun. Of course, you cannot have it all, di ba? Kasi pagdating sa Y6P, wala siyang Google Play services. Yung front camera niya, wala rin live focus. Pero overall, when it comes to performance, mas okay sa akin yung, ano, yung Huawei Y6P, to be honest with you guys. Kahit mas mahal yun ng 500. So, mas bibilhin ko yun kesa dito. Di bali nang mahirapan akong kumuha ng mga applications through APK, yun yung para sa akin. Then again, para sa akin yun. I am not a Samsung hater. I was once a Samsung fan. I'm just providing you guys with the best review that I can provide you. Ang tanging lamang lang neto is yung screen quality. When it comes to the screen quality, it's like, hindi naman siya night and day, early morning, and then noon time. Not a big difference, but you can definitely tell that there is somewhat a difference. So aside from the display, ang isa pang kinagandaan ng phone ito is yung UI. is really giving me a very good experience. The most simplistic and as well as feature-packed skin on Android right now. A lot of people like stock Android, pero for me kasi, I did love touch with because of the animations, because of the look. Hindi ako fan ng stock Android, to be honest. Napapangitan ako sa kanya. <laughs> I used a phone before with stock Android user interface. Ang ginawa ko nun, ayun, nag-download din ako ng ano, film. Hindi, hindi ko siya magustuhan, to be honest. With the taste of fluidity ng usage, this is quite good. Yun nga lang, some of the animations is actually slowing it down. Like this one. Once you click messages for the first time, it will give you that animation, messages, phone. There you go. Titignan ko sa settings kung po pwede kong tanggalin yun, pero pinapabagal niya. <laughs> Doon lang ako naiinis. So, dito na tayo sa conclusion. Ano ba sa tingin ko ang camera quality ng Samsung Galaxy A01? For me, if I'm to score it from 1 to 10, I'm gonna give this phone an 8. Since Samsung Galaxy A01 tayo nag-start mag-rate ng mga smartphone camera quality as an average. And then, sa mga susunod na reviews natin, doon na natin titimbangin yung ibang camera. Pero, for me, it's an 8. Yun lang masasabi ko. Pwede na. Gaya ng nabanggit ko sa unang video, of course, hindi yun magbabago. Hanggang ngayon, sa tingin ko, itong phone na to is para pa rin sa mga uh, young people of our generation and of course, sa mga senior citizens. Basic phone with streamlined software. But the experience using this phone is very on point. No? Parang gumamit din ng iPhone. Lahat 
nandiyan na, hindi ka maliligaw. It is very playful in the eyes. Hindi siya boring tignan, pero it is quite fast. And ito rin yun eh, One UI Core 2.0. Ito rin yung mga nasa flagship ng Samsung. Alisin mo lang yung ibang features. Ito, na, ito rin yun. Dito na nagtatapos ang ating video. Gusto ko lang din i-invite yung mga hindi pa nagsusubscribe na mga viewers ng ating channel. Please do hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. Para naman update ka sa mga susunod na videos ng unbiased unboxing and the most honest reviews that we can provide to our viewers. Uh, less than five before we will start our raffle draw. Thank you so much sa lahat. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin ulit ngayong gabi. And thank you so much for being here again. Then again, my name is Lex. See you on the next video. Peace.